What do you see, Crusoe? Stay away, stay away, stay away. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Please pick that up. In this week's episode, the boys find a snake. I leave the farm. And John decides to dig up his beloved lawn. You got the heart that is bigger than the sun. You got the smile that is wider than the fun. Whatever you imagine will come true. Whatever you wish upon a star will do. And there is only one thing you should really love. It is your heart when it seems up above. Hey, you over there. It's time to get up and make the world shine. It's time to get back to feeling so fine. So behind me, I've got Crusoe working away, beavering away at tidying up some hose pipes. He's organizing stuff, good for him. Um, and Sawyer's over there a little bit helping. I'm not sure quite what Sawyer's up to, but we'll go and have a look in a minute. Welcome back to the farm on this very, very bright and sunny day. I'm loving the day. There's this dew on the grass that feels and makes everything feel less dry and less dusty. Um, and well, the boys and I have got a really big project to do today. Um, Tara's gone out for the day to Porto with her mate and she's left us here to busy ourselves, beaver ourselves away. I think we're going to be building a path. Here's the plan. So this area here, um, this is the ramp. Hey Crusoe, where are you going? You're off to the trampoline. Crusoe's going to turn the sprinkler on. Well then, buddy, this is what happens when mum leaves the farm and leaves us all alone. Three boys working together. Um, okay, so the plan is we've got this walkway that comes around from the knock garage. And then there's this downward ramp that Mario built all those months ago, the first year that we were here. Oh no, close that, Crusoe. You don't want to touch that button. Yeah, clean it, turn it off, buddy. Yeah. Crusoe, turn that one off, quick. Crusoe, turn it off. Push the button, Crusoe. Push the right button, push the button. That's it, leave that one off, don't touch that one. Only push the one on the left. All right, what's the weather? God, this is bedlam already, mum's only just left. <laughs> what's going on, Sawyer? What are you doing over there? Come on, let's tell everybody what we're gonna be up to today. Oh. Okay, let's finish off telling you what's going on um, and then we can crash. <laughs> All right, and then we can crack on with the day. Basically, we want to yeah. connect. Yeah. Uh, and then this a path. Why don't yeah? Why don't you show everybody where that path is going to go? Down the ramp. No, no, please don't do that, Crusoe. Okay. Hello. Down there. Yeah. And where does it go from there? A path. Yeah. And a path. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to speed this up and tell you a little bit about it, perhaps when we start digging, because the boys are just a little bit, well, the boys are very keen to get started and <laughs> you're busy already. Um, so let's get started and I'll tell you, tell you what the plan is as we're, as we're getting started. We need the butter, do we? Yep, yeah, we definitely do. Let me help you there. Where's your butter? Sometimes minds go crazy. Sometimes minds go do 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 Have you found it? Find your butter, buddy. Piggyback, we need you a me back, won't you? Sometimes life goes crazy. Sometimes life goes do 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 do. You tell me, tell me, tell me, 
tell me something, but show me. Show Bunsen, by the way, everybody, is a, is a hoe. I think, anyway. Can you pick up the buds for me, Crusoe, and we'll take it down to the lawn? All right, so let's see whether we can just talk through the plan today. Ultimately, what we're planning to do is connect the outside terrace down there, which is going to be one day a kitchen, to this little ramp here. So the path will start here on this step right here and it'll meander its way a little bit curvy all the way across. So we're going to dig out the shape first of all, then we're going to go to the shops, we're going to get some gravel, other bits and pieces um, that we need and eventually we'll put sort of a crazy paving effect over the top of it. But let's see how far we get today. I'm pretty excited about digging up this grass, even though it's taken me such a long time to, to grow it. We're going to be able to transplant it into other areas of the lawn that really need it um, and hopefully it just makes everything look super duper tidy are you ready yeah ready let's do it let's do it what we want to do i think is start it off like this that's going to be like this like this and we want it to be nice and wide start like this like this we can put some plants there Take a big copy, Sammy. Yeah, we're gonna. Where's the wheelbarrow? I can't see it. Take a big copy. We're gonna go like that. That's what we're gonna do. Careful of your feet there, buddy. So the first thing I'm gonna want to do is just dig down a little bit so that we can have plenty of space for gravel. Do you know what we need, Crusoe? Yeah. We need a marker, stick marker. What do you think? It's good. How about we use this? Then we always know the width of the path all the way along. We know how wide it's going to be. Right. Yeah. But what we also want is to make sure that we save all of this grass yeah. so that we can replant it. Can you see the roots at the bottom of the grass? Can you show it? Yeah. Can you want to plant it? Yeah, well, we'll go. Look, let's go and get the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Not quite yet there. Oh no, don't lose it, Crusoe. During our Portuguese learning journey, we've come to realise that the best way to learn a language is by speaking it with real people, which is where today's sponsor, italki, comes in. Italki are redefining how people learn languages by putting you in contact with certified native speaking teachers who all offer flexible one-to-one -one language learning lessons. Italki offers more than 150 languages and you can choose your teacher based on their experience and specialities. You pay per lesson without any need for an ongoing subscription from as little as $5 for a lesson. So you could be like us and need structured lessons for a long time or just enjoy taking a few classes in a specific language to get some basics before you travel somewhere new. I especially loved how our tutor offered both casual and more formal teaching options for either just conversational learning of Portuguese or diving into the grammar and detail. Ia, Ia, senhora. Senhora. Ia, senhora. senhora. Ia, senhora. Um, and if Ia, it's uh, informal. Okay. If you want to ask someone, re return back, like, you senhor, Ia, senhora, but informal, how do you say? So, está bem? E tu? Exatamente. Muito bem. The first 50 people to click on our unique link below can use our exclusive offer. By using our code NEWBIES, you'll get an extra $5 of lesson credit when you buy $10, so that you too can start your language learning journey with italki. Daddy, yeah. give me my wheelbarrow too. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let's get your wheelbarrow. I'm trying to put it in my wheelbarrow. Yeah. It's so cool. Then you put that grass in the wheelbarrow. You put that grass in the wheelbarrow. That's very precious. It's taken a long time for Daddy to grow that. I Hold on. It. Not a time. Oh. There's your wheelbarrow. Let's do it. Let's do it. This grass is really great. Um, it's been going about a year now. Um, and it's a grass that requires really low water consumption. You can see the roots are just starting to 
push their way down and I'd imagine over the course of the next winter they'll get really super deep. So hopefully next summer there's very very little watering required of the lawn. So we're also we're going to use this piece of wood here like I just said as a as a width guide for the path so that we know kind of that it's all the same width all the way along. Wow, that's really big. Can you lift it? Heavy. Yeah, isn't it? No, no, let it be there. That's good. Right, I tell you what we need to do. Oh, it's not going in here. But not fixing. There we go. Done it. I don't get it down in that one. Yeah. That's in there really tight, Crusoe. It's too heavy. Is it heavy one? No. All right, let's go and find a place where we can store that, that grass. Let's move it over there in that corner. That's where we're going to need to use a whole bunch of it pretty soon. Can you wheel it? Is it heavy? Maybe we just put a little bit. Let's do it a little bit at a time. Leave that, we'll come back for that one. Come on. Why? Well, because we it, it can't all fit into one wheelbarrow. You know, it's just gonna fall out, Crusoe. Shall I carry that piece? Let me carry that piece. And you push the, the smaller bit. There we go, there's another bit. And those two bits. That's it, let's take it over here. Come on. Good work. All right, so I've laid a, a hose pipe out just there. Try and get a feel for how it's going to look. Yeah, that's been a busy old morning, hasn't it, Sawyer? We've cut out a good amount of where the path is going to run. I think I like the, the direction it's taking. Um, and we've started to transplant as much of that grass that we're lifting as possible, as quickly as possible. I think it's time to take Sawyer to bed. Go and find Crusoe. Have a sit down. A quick juice um, and we'll come back to it 
in a half an hour, maybe an hour's time. Get some sunlight on too. Mm. So we go and have a juice, buddy. Are you feeding the chickens? What are you feeding them? The compost. Are they? Do they like it? Oh, you've got some leaves. So I go and get us a cabbage. Let's fry a couple of cabbage leaves. Oh look, here we go. Let's try this. So, what do you think? Let's have a look. I think they're going to like the cabbage. Squeeze it a little bit for you through the hole. There you go. Fifi loves cabbage, doesn't she? Yeah. Doesn't he? So he's asleep in the push chair behind us. Crusoe's on his way back down. We've had a juice break. Everything's pretty much under control. So long as Crusoe heads down now, we can carry on, but shh, he should be quiet. Oh, good job, Daddy. Thanks, Crusoe. Comedy. Daddy, say comedy. Crusoe. I've got six. Whoa. Can I just tip this out? Yeah. Just tip it out. No, let's not tip it out just yet. Okay, it looks like I've got two sleeping boys. Sawyer over there and Crusoe over on the deck. That's great. Um, Crusoe's been just a little champ, hasn't he? I'm gonna carry on and see how much I can get done while they sleep. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Is it a snake? That's another little snake. Wow. Did I pick it up? No, let's not pick it up. Why? But let's come around this side. Yeah. Wow, we got a snake. How cool is that? Let's zoom in. Dude. Let's stay just a little bit back. There are no poisonous snakes in this part of Portugal, but we don't want to, we don't want to scare it. We just want to let it go on its way. They were going to do that way. This is that we're going. Well, I don't know. It's going to hold for me. Stay, stay back see? just a little bit for me, yeah. Crusoe, because we don't, we don't want to disturb it too much. It's got its own thing going on. Wow. Whoa, look at that big snake. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at that. What do you think, Crusoe? Yeah, it's cool. Please pick that up. No, you can't pick it up. Why? Because it's a wild snake and it just doesn't want to be touched. I'll put it on. Where's that, that snake going? I think he's going over there. Why? 
so he can escape. He can go and hide. Hey, look, I got a bug. What bug did you get? Is it a fly? Yeah, I'm holding it. I see that, buddy. It's flying. It's flying. Now let's show mommy, daddy. Daddy, let's show mommy. Yeah. Well, so Crusoe was pretty, pretty keen on picking up the snake there. <laughs> I haven't seen a snake in a year. That's pretty exciting stuff. Um, Sawyer saves the day, of course. Wakes up. All right. It looks like the boys are ready for some lunch now. And a rock star ice lolly is definitely on the cards. So just going to give all of this new grass that I've relocated a little bit of love, just a minute, Sawyer. Um, and then we're gonna head on out. are starting to look a bit muddy. It's getting hot. Crusoe's drinking out of the milk carton. Mum will be home soon. This is not angry. No, 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 it'll be just fine, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> Mum will be home really soon. <laughs> it's starting to look good. We're getting the idea that there's gonna be a path there. I'm really excited about that. Yes, buddy. Picked you picked a flower. Soya picked it. Soya, we don't pick flowers. Okay, we've arrived, but I don't think that we're gonna get what we want from this place. Let's go and let's go and check. Oh, handbrake. You ready, Crusoe? Are you taking your buds with you? could leave it in the car. No, 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 no. You promise you won't hit anything with your buzzer? Yeah. Okay, come on then, let's go. I got down here. Let's go here. All right, let's go. All right, I mean, this happens all the time, actually, in Portugal, but we're, we're in the wrong place. It's not the right shop. Um, finding materials is always so complex. So they've recommended a shop that's five kilometers away. We'll go and have a look, see what's over there. Um, oh, that's disappointing. You know, they've got some really nice stuff here, but it's just not what I'm looking for. All right. Let's go to the next shop, Crusoe. Why? Well, because maybe they have what we're looking for because this shop doesn't. So this is truly, I would say, one of the biggest challenges of doing any project in Portugal is finding the right stuff. You know, when we were building the kitchen, um, when we were building the tiny house, always finding the right materials and the right products was the, the ultimate challenge. And, you know, it can take days and days of your time when really all you want to be doing is getting on with stuff, um, just to find the right stuff that you really want. Or you end up putting something in that isn't quite right, that you didn't really want. Um, and if you're 
if you're a little bit like me and you've got these ideas in your head how you actually really want things to look, um, that can be a little bit disappointing at times. So I really have this idea how I want the, wow. I really have this idea how I want that path to look and I don't really want to compromise on that. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the time. I'm gonna go and have a look and see whether we can find the right material. This is a shop that makes granite stuff by the looks of things. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I don't know whether it's one for today, but it might be one for the future. Let's go and have a look. Go on. Wow, look at that. Russo, check this place out. They cut big pieces of stone. Wow. Stay back here. We've got to go find somebody to talk to. See that big blade over there, Crusoe? That's cutting a huge piece of granite. Look at that. Wow. Excavator. Massive excavator, look. All right, well, there, there's a lot of stone lying around. Let's go and find somebody to talk to, see whether we can get some help. Right, here's some examples of what they've got, look. There's got to be something there that we can find that, that's useful. Cool, eh, Crusoe? Let's go inside. Let's see what they've got. Come on. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I like that. That's a great finish. Come on. Okay, I think we found some good stuff after the lady first of all saying no, but then she's like, oh, maybe this will work. And it's absolutely perfect. This place, by the way, is crazy. So, the lady's inside now, she's just working out how much it costs. Basically, I think it's going to be about 10 euros a square meter. But what's really cool about this place is the house that we're thinking about building with big granite blocks, I think this could be the place that we come to that provides us with all of the stone and all of the building materials. Look at these, look. For the house that we're going to be building. I mean, really fantastic. What a great find. I'm so pleased that we got we came here. Um, now all we've got to, got to work out is how can we get delivery? Because there's no chance that I'm getting 30 square meters of granite in the back of my Toyota Corolla. <laughs> so we've got to get a delivery sorted. Uh, look at this place. It's amazing. Um, okay, so what's happening is we're going home. Um, and when we get home, we just got to wait, basically. Uh, the delivery driver is going to drop off all of the stuff that we need at three o'clock this afternoon. So we've got some time during the day now just to finish off digging that path and getting it sorted. And then he's going to come, he's going to drop off the, the, the granite rocks for us. 10 euros a square meter, that's fantastic. Um, and then hopefully, well, uh, hopefully tomorrow later today we'll be able to start putting the path into place and, and get everything sorted but i'm super stoked about that um anyway uh I go home see, see see tara tell her all about it pretty exciting got to get some cash on the way home pay the delivery driver when he when he drops them off
Okay, well, it's half past three now and the lorry hasn't arrived with the stones. I'm starting to get the feeling that there was something slightly lost in translation with timings, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. But I was pretty confident that they were saying that it was going to be was going to be today at three o'clock but anyway um, they haven't arrived as you can see behind me I've been digging up the lawn um, a lot more I'm getting rid of that root grass that running grass and um, trying really hard uh, to put in good grass so bit by bit it goes Crusoe has been helping me so we got tufts of grass basically growing everywhere all over he's picking them up digging a hole and he's putting them in you know so I don't know Maybe in 10 years time, we'll have a lawn somewhere. We didn't expect it. I think that the lorry's arrived. That's such a cool thing. <laughs> Coming down the wrong way. That's a, that is a lot of stone. Okay, who remembers when, uh, when all the wood arrived? <laughs> I put my shoulder out. Okay, tomorrow, I promise you, I won't be lifting all of that without help and a wheelbarrow, but look at that huge pieces of stone that's quite a lot more than I, I was expecting I think it'll be good look at that look at the, look at the stone I am so stoked with that check it do you know what I'm so delighted I totally thought it wasn't going to turn up that there was some sort of a, a, a miscommunication there but here it is you know I go in in the morning I say I need 30 square meters of the stuff and there it is come and look Crusoe quick 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 They came! I wow. can't, wow! I can't believe it! Johnny, you've got a lot of stone there. Yeah, I know. Maybe it's a bit more than we anticipated, but um, there's a lot to do. I mean, a path to the tiny house, I can't wait. Yeah, okay. I'm tired of like wading through wood chips. Yeah. Wow! Wow! It says transport exceptional on it, so um, I guess that means it's exceptional just for us. I love it. Love it. We also just needed a bit of a reminder that we're in Portugal. So it's not lost in translation, it's just Portuguese time. Yeah, oh, well, that's true. That's yeah. true. o'clock in Portuguese time is like 4.30. I was genuinely thinking it's not coming. You know, that I, I got a translation wrong and that maybe it's like in a week or two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Or so. But that's so cool. Now, now we can crack on with it tomorrow. Brilliant. Carry on with the path. So um, if you're keen to watch the next episode, I certainly am keen to get started. Please remember, turn on notifications, like if you've enjoyed this episode and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the adventure. Oh, and if you haven't already, check out the Newbies Explore. That's our travel channel. We'll be heading to India fairly soon, having plenty of adventures over there. Great stuff. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye. Bye. Are you busy watching the truck? <laughs> Great. <laughs>